This movie covered the aftermath of the civil rights movement so accurately that it raked in millions. And it's just one among many Hallmark movies that were received extremely well. Today, we're going over the highest grossing Hallmark movies of all time. And we're starting off with the movie that begins as a classic romantic drama, but unfolds into something so much more meaningful. The Lost Valentine is a fantastic movie starring Jennifer Love Hewitt as Susan Allison, Betty White as Caroline Robinson Thomas, and Sean Ferris as Lucas Thomas. The plot revolves around Caroline Thomas, played by Betty White, a pregnant 20-year-old widow from World War II. She had been traveling to the railway station on Valentine's Day for the last 40 years in hopes of finding her husband returning. Betty White's acting is simply outstanding in this movie, and the homecoming moment in the railway station is too vivid to be fictional. Officially, naval pilot Neil is still listed as lost in combat. The story is told by Lucas, a renowned physical therapist and former baseball player, to a station manager who then gives Susan Allison the assignment due to an already existing engagement with international reporter Andrew Hawthorne, she suppresses her crush on Lucas and becomes friends with Caroline. As they venture into uniting lost love, will new ones spring up? The movie was a great hit, topping the ratings for its time slot and becoming the most watched Hallmark movie in the four years since Valley of Light first aired in January 2007. During the 2012 Movie Guide Awards, the film also took home the Faith and Freedom Award for TV. Sean Ferris and Jennifer Love Hewitt have endearingly organic chemistry on screen, and Caroline's casting couldn't have been better. We can surely match Hewitt's energy as the movie was incredibly engaging to watch, with background music that complemented the mood of the scene. Additionally, the choreography and composition evoked the appropriate emotions at the correct times. There's no reason why this movie wouldn't make it big, but this next movie, which is actually a period drama, surprised us by making it to this list. Did you ever think our list of highly grossing movies would include a historical one? But it looks like that's exactly what happened. It's unlikely that you'd anticipate Hallmark to produce movies with social justice or political themes, but The Watsons Go to Birmingham did precisely that. The movie follows the Watson family as they travel and unintentionally end up playing a significant role in the civil rights movement. The Watsons are an African-American family from Flint, Michigan, and in the summer of 1963, they head south to Birmingham, Alabama, the beast belly at the time, to see family and in search of a change of pace. The 16th Street Baptist Church bombing, one of the critical moments in the early civil rights movement, is an integral part of this movie. The movie was inspired by a book of the same name, authored by Christopher Paul Curtis. This is certainly Hallmark's best and most influential films ever. With Anika Noni Rose as Wilona, David Allen Greer as Mr. Robert, Sky Jackson as Joetta, Wood Harris as Daniel, Hallmark nailed every bit of casting, just as they did with the set. The movie bagged an award for most outstanding actress in TV, movie, or miniseries. And yes, it was swept away by none other than Anika Nani Rose. And that is exactly what was achieved with the movie-touching moments that are rarely covered by Hallmark. But this next movie had an entirely different storyline altogether. This was no ordinary movie. What are your thoughts on a romantic horror? That's exactly what Edge of the Garden is all about. Horror and romance. Did you even think that this was possible? The story is about the endearing tale of Brian, a man from the big city who impulsively relocates to an ancient house in the country. Things start to get a little weird when he learns that he can see the ghost of a woman named Nora, who previously resided in the same house 50 years before. In 1960, Nora was wed to the despotic and cruel Thomas Hargrave in a loveless relationship. The time Nora spends with Brian, who is the only person she can turn to in her seclusion, ultimately brings her peace. On the other hand, Brian is convinced that he was destined to purchase the home to support Nora through the tragedy of her marriage to Thomas, which also involves her enigmatic and terrible demise. Surprisingly, this eerily romantic tale was well received. It is light and straightforward to grasp, helping it earn a score of 77% on Rotten Tomatoes. This is a true love story that is neither clumsy nor vulgar. Of course, the fact that the lead character is beautiful and appealing doesn't hurt. Despite the difficulties of time dilation, the tale holds up. Additionally, 
Brian's personality change seems plausible. Though this is a different style of romance, it should appeal to most Hallmark fans. The performance is excellent and very convincing. While Hallmark is known to produce cutesy romantic movies, they simply excelled in the delivery of this twisted tale. In an interview, Rob Estes, who plays Brian, said he was blown by the depth of the plot. We can um, see each other and hear each other and um, try to get an understanding of each other, but we can't touch. Now, if horror isn't your thing, how about a detective one? The well-liked television series Signed, Sealed, Delivered, Home Again follows the Postables, a team of postal workers who try to re-deliver lost mail. The group in Home Again unearths an intriguing mystery and an old vase. This quaint vintage movie that immediately won over Hallmark devotees, it's obvious why it got an 82% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Ironically, the intro of the story's central element, a vase, came from the Kelsler family's disturbing tranquility. The rare antique practically fell into the hands of the Postables 18 years after little Peggy, Mary Lou, and Bunny Kelsler attempted to sell the vase and save their farm. This family-friendly movie's romantic and dramatic elements are interspersed with moments of humor to please the audience. Oliver, played by Eric Mabius, is a postal service supervisor who is in love with Shane, played by Kristen Booth. What makes it interesting is that the plot of this old-fashioned story involves some detective work. The fact that this movie is part of a fantastic series is one of its best features. Speaking of the movie, actress Kristen Booth stated in an interview that she believes this script is the best Martha Williamson has ever written. She even said that she cried every time she read the script, but maybe has had a good time on set. This entire series is worthwhile to watch. Sign Sealed Delivered, author Martha Williamson is a brilliant woman, as anyone who used to watch Touched by an Angel will attest. The characters are a little odd and eccentric, and yet funny and cunning. You better pay attention or you'll miss its wit and humor. We're not sure how the actors can maintain a straight face while delivering their lines with such accuracy, but this next movie is so realistic and so loaded with emotion that it'll make you feel like you're part of it. Love Comes Softly is one of Hallmark's most popular series. It's not surprising that the very first movie from the lot has the most fantastic audience scores of any Hallmark movie. With an audience score of 87%, this movie is rocking the charts. Catherine Hegel and Dale Midkiff play a 19th century American prairie couple who wed out of need. Based on a book by Jeanette Oak, the movie does 100% justice to the author's direction. According to Oak, the story is based on the valid account of her ancestors who had to get married in order to survive. But don't worry, if you've read the novel and are worried that the movie is precisely the same, then be glad. In the film, Marty's husband is called Aaron instead of Clem, like in the book. Don't worry, we're not spoiling this for you any further by breaking the suspense. This remarkable film explores hope, passion, and sorrow. Through its storyline, it dealt with several challenging life issues and demonstrated that there is hope despite our challenges. You will really enjoy getting to know the characters and emphasizing their wants and anxieties. But do you know what gives us anxiety? If you don't show your support to our channel by dropping a like and subscribing to our channel. To make sure these fun-filled videos keep coming, please do give us a like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. Your support means the world for us. Now we've done our part, it's time for you to do yours. Meanwhile, let's go over how Dale Midkiff played his part in this movie. The man was simply delightful and charming. While an uncomplicated role is made dignified and funny by Katherine Hegel, she portrays a young, educated, bright frontier wife who gets stuck up in a whirlwind of emotions and feelings. The narrative speaks to and about ordinary folks that we can all relate to. It instills in you the value of family, speaks about the even the torn ones, with a hint of granting access to strangers and simply believing in others. The plot was fresh and filled with emotion, and the performance was also quite convincing. The film caused fans to laugh, cry, and reflect. This movie stands out from the pack because it appeals to a wide range of viewers on numerous levels. It tests your ability to think differently, reject societal behavior expectations, and establish your own standards while going beyond the pale. Did you know the executive producer of Love Comes Softly, Michael Landon Jr., took 10 years to get the movie done as people assumed the film was soft? However, Oak, the author, commended Landon Jr.'s efforts by saying, Michael did a great job with uh, the first one, Love Comes Softly, in matching the characters quite closely. 
Well, all we can say is that all his efforts and the entire team's efforts were paid off as Love Comes Softly tops today's list of remarkable movies. So these were the highest grossing Hallmark movies of all time. Which is your personal favorite? Let us know in the comments down below. But did you know one of Hallmark's most recent Christmas movies just broke all viewing records? Wondering which one? Stick around our channel to find out. Thanks for watching. Until next time.